Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaias from the Automator, and we have some exciting news. Ha! Ah! Um, Isaias was uh, happened to notice something. It was funny because um, it kind of caught us both off guard. We weren't expecting it, right. but about version two, why don't you show him, Isaias? It was pretty amazing. Yeah, so <laughs> I just entered the help file as usual, and I just noticed that here the versioning changed from beta 0.15, which was the last one that I happened to have seen to rc.1 and rc usually in programming what it means is release candidate so this is or what this means is that auto hotkey version 2 is already in a state that is about to be released he's just making sure that this is just a candidate he's going to test it a little bit more and from now on there are no more changes to the language so the language is considered stable right the only thing that we're doing right now is checking for bugs. Any bugs that might show up um, are the ones that are going to be now fixed and added to this particular version until it is in a stable release that he said, okay, I'm going to release this thing. Now, the funny thing is that I us I'm usually subscribed to um, the new topics whenever he makes a new change. I didn't get a notification. I was like, that's weird. Um, so what I found out is that he created in the announcements forum a new thread. Now, this thread is um, just for the release candidates. Now we are in number one. And as you can see, it's just about fixing stuff. And the other part that he will be working on is just the packaging and documentation. What that means is packaging is creating the installer. Right, so now our hotkey version two is going to have a normal installer as we had before, and the documentation is going to be just updated to reflect that we are in version two. So now the, the most important part of this is that uh, the release is planned for later this year. So that means that this year we're done. We were actually talking about that. Um, I don't know a few months ago at the beginning of this year. Well, it was, I was saying uh... like. Yeah, it was the anniversary of the 19th anniversary for Auto Hotkey, right? It was on the 10th of, of this month. Of but actually, prior to that, at the beginning, you well, were mentioning that ago, I think yeah. it was like yes week or just throw somebody said like, oh, probably uh, in the next year or pro probably this year. And we were saying probably at the beginning of next year. But here we go. He's actually explaining, no, this year he's going to be releasing version two. And if you go to the autohotkey.com uh, page, and you go to the downloads, you will see that now it says download version two RC. So but definitely let me ask this to confirm, because I, I think even though the the version two will be out and it'll be the official, I'm sorry, it'll be no, no, it, it will be the official one. <laughs> well, well, but do you think he's gonna take it that way right when it right when it's when ready? it is launched? What the, my understanding is that as soon as it's launched, this this other button is going to go so you are not going to be able to download version one from here probably from well, the you'll... older versions section here so it's not that you cannot download it no oh, yeah. sorry no 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 sorry sorry i think that the the v1 is going to be Let's removed hope. yeah yeah so this one is gone i i'm i'm 100 sure this one is going to yeah. be gone for version one i think it's going to be version two is going to be the first button and version one is going to be like a previous version or something like that um but definitely he's definitely um seem to be launching this very soon and uh not only that i have been speaking uh well you know replying to certain threads sure. recently to him and he definitely matters he, he says that he will not be working with the one so he's definitely saying that um he is just going to be working. So here, I will not be devoting much time to the V1 branch. So he's definitely, what it means is he is going to forget about V1. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now yeah, he's... He already did. I mean, that's right. not... Going to. No, no. Well, he did in the sense that he's not creating new stuff, yeah. but he has been fixing stuff on it. Well, and, so, I mean, with a lot of support from other people, right? I don't. Yes, yes, yes. But in general, he's still adding stuff because when you go to V1, you still see that he released version 35 recently. So he is doing that. What I'm thinking is that it's going to get stuck on 35 <laughs> for a long, yeah, long time. Yeah. Unless, yeah. <laughs> Again, I know there's people like Cheese Wig and, and other people that are backporting stuff from v2 to v1 yes i could see them saying hey if they find certain things 
if right. it's super simple to do, maybe very he likely can, but... he's going to be adding the the fixes there. But uh, he's really vocal about he forgot about V one. So that has a very big, you know, there has a lot of implications for you know auto hotkey in general because oh, yeah. yeah, right <laughs> now that means that many people are going to jump ship. Most of us who have already done that know that there's it is better but now you will start seeing a lot of scripts in the forums developed mainly in v2 and um that means yeah we're gonna get more libraries in v2 we're gonna get more scripts in v2 and guys just start adding your requires command all the time right so it's like, now you you will need that you will need it because now any person like new people are going to join the page and download and what they're going to download is v2 straight from the beginning so yeah you know and and actually throw out there i know the other day i was talking to you about it i'm like why isn't the the bitness in part of the require saying and you, yeah. you said he actually responded kind of positively to that idea yeah yeah he did uh very uh, recently actually he just said that he will be adding the um the requires command to be it's going to modify him to be a little bit more flexible is what is going on and uh, in that means including um stuff that has to do with you know the bitness and i don't know what else what he the, mentioned the os would be the only other thing to me that pops in my mind of is there a certain os that you have to have to run it mm, i'm not really I'm surprised because sure. i don't think it's that you know most things yeah. now go back to XP. Right. So he's saying that he's going to be extending the directive to oh. allow the requirements weakness. And then he says for V1 only, he's going to allow Unicode and ANSI, but uh, the bitness is for both. So you will be able to say 32-bit or 64-bit on both of them. But in V1, you will be able to require Unicode or ANSI. There, um, there is no ANSI for V2, correct? No, there is not. They, again, this is this is one of those legacy stuff that are going away and uh, it's very rare to find ANSI strings in major websites anymore. Everything is UTF-8. So right now, mostly UTF-8 or UTF-16, which is Windows. So if you can move away from ANSI, that would be great. Unless you have very specific needs, there is no need to use that. But in V2, you, you, you don't even have that ability. You don't even have ANSI uh, versions of it. So again, this is great. Um, uh, these are a lot of great news, by the way. <laughs> we have been waiting for V2 for what, 10 years now? <laughs> so, so we are done. with. And right now, when you have something that is in release candidate uh, status, that means that, that that's it. Like that means that's V2. Mm -hmm. We're just fixing stuff. So... For sure, if you were saying, oh, no, it's beta still. Yeah, forget about that. It's not beta anymore. It's already the, the release. Yeah, we're we're there, man. We're, we're, <laughs> yeah, there we're, you we go. drove across the country to get to the California Ocean, and we're, we're <laughs> in the parking lot looking out yeah. at the ocean. We're like, yeah, we're there. Yes, that is right. So formality, but And the fact he said this year, and yeah. we have, what, 40 days for the rest of the year. For the rest right? of the year, yeah. So That's, we're, he's, again, he's done. So probably if this is done, um, he's still talking about V2.1. So he already has plans for V2. There's a few things that he's going to be doing, but he's not going to put them in V2.0. Okay. He's going to add them to V2.1. So many other changes are coming, but not for V2.0. So he's just, um, he said, we're good, <laughs> which is great. Uh, I, I'm really happy about that. I was, I just cut. It caught me by surprise. I was not really expecting that today. So uh, if you want to learn more about V2, we have quite a few videos on it. Go to the URL over my head, and we have a lot of them. Some of them are just, you know, what you need to know when you make the switch. Some of them are talking about the difference in the objects and how you have a map instead of just the, the regular object that we're typically used to. Yeah. And GUIs are drastically different, right? Um, but yeah, so check out those videos if you like. And uh Hey, I like the video if this, you know, if you learned that this change is there and that tell me if you guys are surprised. I was really surprised to see this. 
and especially him saying this year like that blew my mind that this yeah is so there you uh, go. comment below if you guys think this is really um amazing and if you were expecting it Mike. cheers <laughs>